Get free tech advice for your business from O2 Gurus. Search O2 Business for more. Hey guys, welcome to BTech. Basil here, and the Sony Xperia Z3 Plus has gotten a bit of a bad rap given the fact it gets pretty hot. Well, it tells you it gets hot, you don't even need to feel it because the camera just shuts down and it says it's gotten too hot and needs to cool itself down a bit. So this video is all about seeing exactly what drives it to that tipping point of too hot and whether or not other applications send the heat skyrocketing. We're gonna be using a thermometer, a laser thermometer, and of course, Doing touch tests as well. If there's anything that we do test out that you've got questions about or you want us to try anything specific out ahead of our full review, you know what to do. Fire the questions in the comments section below. And of course, if you like BTEC and you want to stay on top of the channel, then subscribe. In our first test, I recorded 4K video across three devices, the S6 Edge, the One M9, and the Xperia Z3 Plus. 4K video as long as it could go, and then I measured the temperature at the end. The temperature on the HTC One M9 was around 45, on the S6 Edge it was around 39 and on the Z3 Plus it was a very very warm to really hot 49 degrees bordering on 50 so that's definitely the hottest of the bunch. What's also disappointing about the Z3 Plus is the fact that it was unable to record for as long as the others. It got about a minute and a bit, whereas the other two capped out at over five minutes. The HTC One M9 recorded the longest 4K of the lot. Why do I think that's the case? Well, Sony's always had heat issues with that sensor, the 20.7 megapixel sensor overheated on the Z3. And the Z3 had a Snapdragon 801 chip inside and it didn't even have heating issues. Issues. So if it was able to overheat with a chipset that didn't have heating issues, when you put a Snapdragon 810 which does have heating issues, it's little wonder that it, well, performs worse. So the sad reality is, and I'll make sure this is 100% accurate before I include it in my full review, this is kind of a step back as far as camera goes, just in terms of utility. I found that when I was taking regular pictures, not even AR mode pictures, it overheated as well. What else is gonna overload that temperature? Well, I haven't really come across anything aside from camera. A couple of you guys commented that it was only AR effects, but it isn't. It's regular camera usage. If you just fire up the camera, and leave it running for a fair while, then uh, it will throw up that overheating warning. Um, I'm not gonna do it now, but I've done it many, many times. Um, obviously, you can fast track that very, very quickly um, by just opening up one of the more creative modes. So for example, if I opened up um, AR mask, I can lean in and it will take a while. And that's my face. And you can see immediately before anything's actually even happened, if the device temperature is rising, it continues to do so, the app will close on automatically. Fine, that's okay. So we've got my face there. Press okay, dismiss that. Can overlay some faces over my face. So that's creepy in itself. Um, anyone who follows me on Instagram knows I love cats and I couldn't even get a cat on my face. Okay, that sounds weird, but you get what I'm saying. Um, because the camera's shut down because it's just too hot. So if you're a big fan of cameras and you're thinking about a Z3 Plus, you'd probably be as well off to get a Z3. As far as playing back video goes, we've got a 1 minute 43 4K clip here. So it's definitely worth playing that back and taking a look at how the temperature rises or indeed drops when playing back video to see if it is just playback or recording that sends it skyrocketing. You can see it's rising pretty steadily. And like I said, that video is recorded on the device itself. So that's getting pretty hot right there. Okay, it looks like it's capping out at around 44 degrees Celsius, just under. So that's with playback of 4K video. One thing I also will say is the fact that the HTC One M9, because of its all metal frame, conducts heat better. So the HTC One M9 actually felt a bit hotter down at the base um, and all over than the Xperia Z3 Plus did. The Xperia Z3 Plus had a real concentration of heat around this point. Um, but still, neither of these two devices, for anyone who um, really is concerned about a phone getting too hot, 
would come at the top of my recommended list. Um, and again, it just reiterates what I've kind of been saying. The Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge with its Exynos processor really impresses across all fronts, camera quality, right through to heat management. So hopefully you've enjoyed that video. Hopefully Sony, if you're watching this for the Xperia Z5, which I'm expecting around E for time, really, really hope if you have a different chipset in there, better heat management, definitely a different camera module, um, one that doesn't throw up so many issues. If you did like the video, then click like, of course, and if you like BTECs in general, subscribe to the channel. That's how you're gonna stay on top of everything that we do. Thanks for watching.